قل إن تخفوا ما في صدوركم أو تبدوه يعلمه الله ويعلم ما في السماوات وما في الأرض والله على كل شيء قدير Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says say if you hide hide something within yourself or if you make it known Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows it already there's nothing that you could possibly hide from Allah so Allah knows what you have on the inside and Allah knows what you disclose to the people a little bit over Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says يَوْمَ تَجِدُ كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَّا عَمِلَتْ مِنْ خَيْرٍ مُحْضَرًا وَمَا عَمِلَتْ مِنْ سُوءٍ تَوَدُّ لَوْ أَنَّ بَيْنَهَا وَبَيْنَهُ أَمَدًا بَعِيدًا وَيُحَذِّرُكُمُ اللَّهُ نَفْسَهُ وَاللَّهُ رَؤُوفٌ بِالْعِبَادِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says on that day a person would see their good deeds, the good deeds that they worked and they would see the evil. يَوَدُّ لَوْ أَنَّ بَيْنَهَا وَبَيْنَهُ أَمَدًا بَعِيدًا You would want nothing to do with your sins on that day. As your sins are brought forth on the day of judgment, you would want nothing more than to not have them assigned to you, than to have absolutely no association to those sins, to be as distant as possible. And on that day, it all comes out. Everything on that day comes out. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala either will call you to account for it privately, or it will be publicly put on display for the nations to see. But everything comes out. And when a person sees their sins and the things attributed to them, then they feel a sense of doom. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that if you hide it or you disclose it, Allah knows. And that's actually what counts. Meaning what? If you've managed to hold off so many of these ugly sins from the sight of the people, that doesn't mean that they won't be brought out on the Day of Judgment. You may very well proceed through this life and pass away without any of your secrets being made known or m many of your secrets not being made known. But Allah knows they will be brought out on the Day of Judgment. And that's why Imam Ibn al-Jawzi says something very beautiful. He said that know that if people are impressed by you, they're not impressed by you, they are impressed by the hijab, the veil that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided for you. If people think good of you, it's not because that's who you are, it's because of the veil that you have that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has beautified. But then look who we get into in terms of stories. We get into the lives of people that actually had good secrets. Not bad secrets, good secrets. The secret of the mother of Maryam, Hannah bintu Faqud, Hannah, or you know, the Catholics call her Saint Anne, the wife of Imran, the mother of Maryam alayhi as she is, as she's bearing this child and she has this conversation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and she dedicates this child to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the private moments, the secret sidq, the secret sincerity that this woman had when she gave birth to her daughter, thinking that it would be a son, gives birth to her daughter and has these wishes, has these these uh, claims and these intentions that she makes before her Lord. And look what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes out of this woman's intentions. And then we have Zakariya alayhi salam, Zacharias, when he takes to the corner after he sees Maryam and he calls upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala du'a'an khafiyya with a secret prayer. Zakariya did not know that those words that he would use in that prayer would become part of the Qur'an that we would recite out loud in masajid and in our homes. And there isn't a moment in the world right now where the private prayer of Zakaria is not being recited by somebody. You think about that? Zakaria was so quiet when he called upon Allah that no one around him could hear because he wanted to maintain that sincerity. He wanted his dua to be sincere, supplication to be sincere. So if you were standing 10 feet away from him, you would not be able to hear him. But here, here you are, you know, thousands of years later, and you hear him. 
Allah has made His words known to you. Allah brought out His good secrets. The point is, dear brothers and sisters, what are your secrets? What are the things that are between you and your Creator that no one knows about it? How much of it is bad and how much of it is good? How much of it is private worship and sincere supplication? How much of it is private sin and, sin, and, and secret disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How much of it do you want to come out on the Day of Judgment that no one else has seen up until that point? What's your secret? Who are you in the dark? What do you have between you and Allah?